guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a new vlog if it's your first time here hello my name is danny if you're returning for another travel vlog then welcome girl we are actually in saloon with it and i am so excited to be here once again it never fails me and vacation go together real bad okay finals week is over so per usual i always take a getaway trip after finals at the end of the semester and this time i decided to do a trip to a location that i've never been to i know everyone's been here and i also try to stay away for as long as i could but i was like you know what i think it's time for me to see what you know what the hype is you know and i also just wanted somewhere to go that was relaxing but warm could provide good vibes good food i'm familiar with the culture so this is actually my fourth time in mexico so pretty familiar with the culture overall and i'm pretty conversational when it comes to spanish so I feel like once again, this was a great location to visit. But I'll tell y'all about my travels here. Y'all will gag, but we're just gonna fast forward through that because I have so much to tell y'all about this place I'm staying in right now. I decided to book two Airbnbs because I wanted two different vibes. This first one is going to gag you. It's going to take your breath away. And I'm just trying to rush the intro so I can show y'all. Um, and then the second one is more so like a traditional you know, condo style Airbnb, something cute, you know, something like. I'm here for five days and four nights, so we shall be well rested, well tanned, well fed, well balanced by the time I go back to Atlanta, but this vacation I'm going to enjoy every single second, okay? Period. So yeah, enough of the intro. Let's get into this Airbnb tour because I'm gonna scream, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the main star of the show because I just literally can't wait any longer. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Stop it right now. Look at this. Literally so stunning, y'all. So this right here is an outdoor pool that I have close to myself. I love that because I will be sitting in here. I wish it got more sun, but it's okay because I'm still gonna use it. Personal pool, love that. This is an outdoor reading bench. I'm gonna use this as well. And then some seating for like an outdoor coffee in the morning. This door actually connects to the living room, which will go in this way, but this is what the view is from this side. And it's just insane because what? Oh my gosh, so this is obviously the dining room or the dining area. These stairs lead to the top floors. This is the kitchen area, which I kind of got a little bit messed up with my stuff, don't mind it. Um, but even look at how beautiful this view is right here. I'm breathless. So we're gonna go around this way to the living room and look at how I match the vibes of the room. Let's first open these blinds. Boom, just like that. So now you have a great view of that whole patio. And this is what the living room looks like. Just beautiful, soft, neutral colors that I'm literally obsessed with. And once again, like I said, I match the vibe, so there is me, period. Um, this mirror is a full-length mirror, which I think every Airbnb needs a full-length mirror, especially when you're in a foreign country and you know people are gonna travel to you. You have to have a foreign mirror, like people need to see what they look like. I found that so many Airbnbs don't have full-length mirrors and I think that like, just such a beautiful addition. And obviously they did so well with like the textures added to it, like sticking to like the wood theme they have going on in their home, <laughs> stunning. This is like the TV, once again with the wooden theme and a dream catcher in the corner, which is so cute. So now we're gonna go upstairs. It's actually my first time upstairs, y'all, so we're doing this together. Just looking at the art decor. So this is a three bedroom um, Airbnb. So here is the second bedroom. Anyways, this is the second bedroom. This looks like a king size bed, to be honest with you. Do a little nightstand, and I think there's also. <laughs> so here's the bathroom, which obviously looks super cute, very natural, but the reason I just gasped is because I found the outdoor shower. And we're back into the hallway. Those are the stairs. We're gonna turn right or left this time. Once again, gotta open the blinds to see the full view. Because yeah, this room is smaller. This is like a queen bed, I think. Okay, 
when I tell y'all I am speechless, I am speechless. And I'm so blessed and fortunate to be here. I thank God above everything because y'all, life be life in, okay, in so many ways. And I really want to do a sit down video to talk about certain things that like you experience in your adulthood, just adulthood in general and how, as we all know, it's just not what it's cracked up to be. But it's just nice to always be able to take a step back, get away, refresh, recenter yourself. I'm so excited. This trip is gonna be super calm. I wanna make sure to mention that. This isn't like a rah rah exploring Tulum. This is very much like get a nice Airbnb where you can literally kind of lounge in all day, tan, read, pray, meditate, write down your goals, reset, you know what I mean? All of it. Like, this is just a rejuvenation trip. Like, think of it like a med spa, you know? And then obviously the other Airbnb is going to provide other things for us too. But the theme is going to be the same. I'm obviously going to go and do stuff in the city. Like, I'm just a girl, you know? And I love to explore. I want to try the drinks. I want to try the food. I love getting to engage with different cultures when I travel to different countries. So that's all going to happen. But I just want to let y'all know this is going to be, this is going to be like a, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're right here with it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm so excited to see you guys along with me. Please make sure to subscribe and check out my other travel vlogs, check out my other content in general. I make beauty, I make fashion, I make health and fitness content. Of course, I'm a student, like I mentioned, so I make content on that. I'm just the girl you can come to for everything, okay? I cover all the bases. I love doing so. This channel has been just such a blessing to me, so I hope it's a blessing to you as well. But for now, I need to refresh. I don't know what I'm going to do for the evening. I kind of had to spend a lot of my day handling a small emergency so sun's kind of down i believe so no tanning really today maybe we can go explore the rest of the facility we can do that and then get ready get dressed for dinner that sounds nice right i do want some super cute pics um i bought some cute outfits and i'm really excited to get dressed with you guys and just you know have a bit of girl time like i just mm, one thing about me i just love girl time a couple things to mention i did rent a car so i flew into cancun and i rented a car to drive to tulum i found that was the best way because i'm solo traveling so it made sense for me to be able to just pick up and go wherever i need to go when i needed to get there versus relying on other people for transportation um so yeah i stopped at walmart to get some beverages specifically water i love mexican sodas it's really bad i know i'm not supposed to be a soda girl at all but when i'm in mexico i love getting mexican coke and like just their coke products in general because they just taste better like the sugar is more natural i believe so it just tastes better so anyways i got some of that i got some snacks just to have in the house let's see what time the sun sets we are an hour behind eastern standard time so it's 5 37 here but it's 6 37 in atlanta Sun sets at 7.13. It's 5.38. Okay, that's plenty of time for me to freshen up, do a little one-two on the face, grab a picture for the evening, and get out. Okay, let's do that. All right. Um. I just woke up with an immense amount of gratitude just to be able to be here once again. Like, look at me in this view. Like, surrounded by this beautiful nature, having this beautiful view outside just to look at is just absolutely incredible. Like, how lucky am I, right? I want to use the hand mix that I think I should have yesterday, and then I want to read a bit. I might do a little dip in the pool. I want to meditate, you know, all that. Like, all the stuff I came here to do, pray. And then later on in the morning, because it's only 8 o'clock right now, we are going to a beach club. It's called the Gitano Beach Club. Um, through this Airbnb, I was able to get free access to the beach club, so I figured why not spend the day there. So we're going to head there at about 11. Um, it's about a 20 minute drive from here. And then we're going to spend the afternoon there, vibe out, get some good drinks in our bodies, you know, eat a little bit, come back, get ready for dinner, and then rest and repeat, okay? Um, this is actually my last day in this Airbnb because, like I said, I booked two Airbnbs. I just wanted this vibe, but I knew that after a while, I'd probably be tired of it. So I want to have this vibe for a couple of days, and then the next vibe is more like, it's really giving to room. The beachy, airy, like, aesthetic. So that's what the next Airbnb is giving, and I actually think it's going to be really cute, too, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, you guys, right now I'm going to head to go and chill for a bit and just continue to enjoy our beautiful day that God has given us. I'm so just i'm just on 10 like i just can't believe this is this is this is my life right now like what's that song i think i like this little life 
that's me right now. <laughs> because it's such a beautiful beach, such great views here. I'm so excited to just lay out and just tan and read and just, you know, have a cute time of myself. It's hot, but the wind is blowing, which is perfect because it helps with the heat. But it is so cute here, like I'm obsessed. And it's really secluded, which I love too. There's only like, I think three other couples or people here in general. So I'm really happy to be spending the afternoon here. These are the views for my seat. literally so beautiful ah things like this just make me so grateful to like be alive like views like this getting to see this experience this i don't know i feel like everyone has that moment when they're on vacation where they're just like i love life and i'm so happy to be here <laughs> and that's my moment right now but yeah i just want to update you guys i don't know if i told you guys that i joined a book club at the top of the year and right now we are reading before i let go by kennedy ryan so i have a lot of catching up to because we have a meeting to discuss this book on sunday when i get back girl i'm on page 22 <laughs> so i have some reading to do but i told myself that the reason i would come out here would be to focus on reading just you know i told y'all already just focus on all the good soul filling things so i'm actually excited to get through this book how tan I got OMG so my camera ended up dying while I was at the beach club literally after I recorded that first clip but I did record some footage on my phone which I'll definitely make sure to add because it was really beautiful to just be out there I was telling you how I was reading my book I got pretty deep in and the book is also really good but it was just perfect like it was just the perfect way to spend my afternoon and I'm so glad I went tomorrow I'm not sure what I want to do I think I'll either do another beach club or I'll go for a boat ride around this time tomorrow I'm actually checking out of this Airbnb by 11 but my check-in for the other Airbnb is at 3 so I basically have that period of time to be outside and do some activity so it's gonna be between one of the two just depending on how I feel I'm so happy with my tan and I'm just gonna continue to get tanner but y'all can literally see the difference like my skin just loves the sun and I always tell everyone that I end up looking real caramel golden like it's just the yellow undertones poke out and I love it and I've understood the travel hack of always packing your normal foundation and then packing your summer shade foundation when you travel because the shade you came with is typically not the shade you're gonna leave me so you have to make sure to have both foundations so you don't look crazy on your trip you know looking three shades darker than your foundation light grow like we've grown out of that right now i'm obviously dirty sweaty so i'm gonna go shower using the outdoor shower actually which i'm so excited to try i'm gonna go grab a few more drinks and just hydrate a bit the drinks at the beach club weren't strong like after i got the first drink i was like yeah i'm not gonna sit here and just run up a tab on alcoholic beverages that don't have any alcohol so i got water one beverage which it was it was not that good and i got two elixirs basically juice essentially like alcoholless drinks I had a great time nonetheless but now i just want to go continue to kind of sit outside and read my book um i could stay here actually but i think i just want some drinks and i just want like vibes so I'd rather do that instead yeah right now it's only 219 like i still have the whole afternoon to actually need to go so just want to maximize that that's the place so let's continue with our day <laughs> Of course, pop of color, who would I be without, you know, a pop of color 
on my wardrobe, like hello. So yeah, this is the look. Go get your ring, y'all. <laughs> but I guess the sir. I love sugar cane. Oh my god. U.S. can never. Cheers. Oh god. drink and read, baby. I feel like y'all don't need love. You need somebody who could. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you girls. I feel like y'all don't need love. You need somebody who could micromanage you, you know what I'm saying? Tell you right from wrong. Who's smart from who's a fool? What you tend to use for which food? Like, I got a schedule to attend to though. I can't really. Slime me a while. Slime me a while.
video i just got finished getting ready but this is the dress of the evening it is by devon windsor on revolve and like this color on my skin tone this dress is delightful like the color is so perfect I look as good as I smell as good as I feel, okay? Is it giving this? Or is it giving, is it giving both? Is it giving this? With the clutch? It's kind of giving both, no? Or one. Let me look in the mirror. Oh, I think it's getting both. This is one. This is two. It's kind of giving both. Yeah. This is one. That looks too plain. Versus. It's giving both. actually all packed up because we're checking out of this airbnb at 11 and we're going to our second airbnb at three last day kind of sad day but look at how i'm coordinating y'all like this is actually so funny hold on i'm gonna show y'all way that i'm always coordinating everything <laughs> like on accident on purpose type stuff you know look at me like so cute right anyways currently it is 10 23 a.m i am in need of a green juice because that's just what i typically have in the mornings if i eat too many carbs or too many fats things like that my stomach is like slow down so this morning i'm on the hunt to go get a green juice i found this local juicery it's called seedling and based and gluten-free store cold press juice cleanses so i'm headed there now i am in mexico i have the luxury of Hopefully, right, getting organic fruit and veggies in my beverages. So I love to take full advantage of that. And I just really want some fruit today. Like I don't, I have not been eating as much fruit and I actually haven't been drinking that much water either, which is not good. So today is gonna be a hydration day. Definitely still wanna, you know, get a little something, something. But I'm also realizing that the drinks here are not that strong, really. So you're drinking a lot of juice. You think you're getting alcohol in your drink, you're just basically drinking juice. So it just feels like I've been drinking juice for the past two days and my stomach is like, girl, what are we doing? So yeah, today's heavy on water. I want fruit and I want some green juice. 
So I'm really excited about the second Airbnb. It has a gym. It's also new. Um, it's actually only six minutes driving distance from this Airbnb. So yeah, I'm really excited about the day. I am sad to be leaving this Airbnb though because it was like the Airbnb of my dreams. Like this was like probably ideal Airbnb. I'll definitely link the Airbnb down below because I know I'm gonna get so many questions. I just can feel it already because I've been posting this location on my um, actual Instagram. And my friends are all like, girl, where are you? And I'm like, girl, can you believe I'm in Tulum? But yeah, just going ahead and put on sunscreen for the day because child, I cannot play about this sun. But that being said, let us go ahead and go. I'm gonna notify the owner that I'm leaving per her request. So I'm gonna pack all this up into the car and I'll check in with you guys at the juice place. my energy i'm a bit drained from the day but this airbnb is super cute very much lifestyle but like very cozy and that's why i was excited to have a taste of both spaces because i felt like they offered different things of course the other one being bigger with two bedrooms and like three bathrooms this one just being a lofty studio style space so yeah let's get into it so this is the door when you walk in a mirror on the back and then me chilling on my cover up and then painting through here this is the bedroom as soon as you walk in with super cute decor so cute and then right there is the television and then this door right here kind of hidden because it matches the vibe of this whole wall the bathroom we are back into the main space and here is the couch which i haven't sat on it but hmm let's look at me oh it's not bad it's actually pretty comfy okay couch area and then this is a yes yeah, like a storage sensor console this is probably my favorite area of the whole space it's like the kitchen but look how cozy it looks especially from this angle like super super cute and cozy so right here is just the seating area with these two wooden chairs and then you have the table which extends from the counter which is so cool this is actually a stove, which is, once again, a super, super cool. So you continue, there's the sink, of course. And then my absolute favorite thing in this kitchen is this fridge. Like this fridge is like the fridge of my dreams. I've always wanted to like have a fridge like this. It gives like really retro vibes. And inside is nothing, but I just love the size. Like it's so cute. I think up here is the freezer. This is the art on the back wall. And then over here in this corner is just more artwork. So yes, this is this corner. Back into the main space. There's a little desk right here. Beautifully decorated. Balcony area. And this door opens all the way up. That's what it looks like. 
sitting area and this corner is actually a bed tucked away which I love because you know sometimes you just want to sleep outside right now I'm pretty tired like I was telling y'all but like the sun kind of drained my energy so I'm just probably gonna take a nap and then we will wake up later and figure out what the vibes are but I'm gonna shower real quick lay down because I'm exhausted and then we'll figure out what's next okay y'all i mustered up the strength because i was so tired today but i really want some mojitos from this but i went to the first tonight so this is just my cool little outfit tank top is from zara shorts are from zara this hat is from a brand in houston um from these precious bros that created it love it um this bag i said old navy shoes are my sambas very casual cute i just want some drinks and i want to read <laughs> i'm so deep into this book y'all maybe i'll talk about it later but this book is so good and i definitely am going to finish before our um actual meeting on sunday because it's just too good and i'm picking it up every second i can get which is great because that's the whole point of being away you know not being too much on your phone like just disconnecting and like reconnecting in other ways right oh can y'all see my tan it looks so good on me right hey you guys i'm about to head out and i will check in with you guys later Day, but today's gonna be the best day so right now i'm actually on my way to i just toured the facility i wanted to see what the gym looked like because i definitely want to use that and i am about to go get some green juice from the same place as yesterday i feel like i'm getting in a cute little routine because you know as i should right so since i can't make my own juice i'm going to buy some because her place is so so good routine can't stop because as soon as i land back in atlanta baby it's up and it's stuck we still have fitness goals to achieve but i just want to check in with you guys i look a bit crazy so don't mind that but i just want to say good morning and i am really excited about this routine so yeah let's get some juice Okay, you guys, so this is the outfit of the evening for my final evening here in Tulum. So I hope you guys can see the full fit, but this dress is from Revolve. Um, this purse is actually from Target. These heels are some of my favorites from Nine West. I've worn these so many times. They're pretty comfortable for heels. Walk slowly, walk on the balls of your feet, and you should be able to get it all together, okay? My jewelry is very simple, just this bracelet and then my watch that I always wear. And I just have a small ring. Makeup is very simple. Could not be bothered to wear makeup this trip, to be honest. I just wanted to tan and I wanted my skin to thrive. So this is what we are looking like. I'm going to do a twirl for the girls. This trip has been so relaxing, everything and more that I needed, and I'm so fortunate that I was able to come 
Tulum. Probably won't see me again, to be honest. This was like a cute little one too, but I've just been to Mexico too many times, but I loved Tulum. Like it was absolutely beautiful. It treated me so well. I had good food. I had good drinks. I met great people. I read my book. I finished it and it was so good, y'all. I'm so happy that I finished it. It was so good. But yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for coming along on my travel journey. If this was your first video you're watching, please make sure to check out the rest of my channel for other videos that you might enjoy, especially my travel content, fashion, beauty, health and fitness, all that. That's me. So subscribe, of course, at the post notification bell, of course. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.